Hi, I'm Scott Tresser. Um, I'm going to show you a few of the controls and panels that we've developed uh, specifically for the heat trace industry. The first one I'm going to talk about is our uh, digital thermostat. It's a 30 amp SSR switching uh, digital thermostat. It has a soft start feature embedded in it and also all of the wiring including the sensor, the power control and the heating cable are all contained within this, uh, within this unit. The next product I'd like to show you is an up upgrade from this product. It's called our ITC. It's a single and dual loop controller and it's right over here. This is our ITC heat trace controller. It's a microprocessor based controller that services either one or two circuits. It switches 40 amps per circuit. It's SSR driven. It's got full alarm capabilities, full monitoring capabilities, has a selectable soft start feature. Um, has a very easy uh, user interface where you can uh, enter any of the parameters that you need through our keypad and has a very nice large TFT display. The next product I'm going to talk about is our multi-loop heat trace panel and it's right over here. This is our ITLS and ITAS multi-loop control panel. It services anywhere from 6 to 70, 72 loops. It also is a microprocessor based panel that switches 40 amps per circuit. It's got a large touchscreen computer. It's easy to manipulate, easy to navigate, and easy to program. Let me show you a little bit of the features about the uh, control panel that makes it easier for the user to start up. The touchscreen computer displays six loops at any given time. You can navigate to any of the other groups of six loops by touching these quick launch toggles, tabs on the sides. And you can also see at any given time whether you have a fault condition by looking at the display. These would turn red if you had a fault condition. If you do have a fault, you easily just go to the fault page and you can look and see what type of fault that you have, whether it's a GFI, high temperature, or some sort of current situation. To get back to the main screen, you just hit main. And if this is the first time that you're installing the control panel, you go into the setup page you enter a security clearance number and then you go into your parameter settings. The first tab is all the set points and this is where you would spend most of your time programming the ITLS. All of your heat trace circuit names are here, your temperature settings, your current settings, your ground fault settings, as well as how you're going to control the panel, whether it's going to be an automatic or manual control. You can also disable any individual circuit by simply selecting disable that circuit and that circuit can remain off if you need to do service on that line. You can also set up one circuit and that circuit will um, can be the, the guide for all of the rest of the circuits by hitting apply go globally. So all the parameters that were set in that one circuit will be applied to all of the circuits. It saves you a tremendous amount of time. The next tab is the tuning tab. In the tuning tab one can choose on how the, uh, the control controls the heaters, whether if it's an on-off control or PAE control. This is also where you can select your soft start function. You can actually turn it off if you have a non-heat trace ap application. We also have a sensor mapping feature on our ITLS panel, ITAS panel. You can actually map more than one output to an individual sensor. This provides a lot of flexibility for the owner. The next tab is our systems tab. This is really just a convenience tab that allows you to set up your control panel with your system information, such as the name of the system, the time it was installed, your units, etc. The last tab is our auto cycle tab. This is a wonderful maintenance feature that's built into the, every ITLS panel, which allows the system to ping all of the different circuits, which enables the maintenance men to know whether or not they have an issue on any of the circuits. If you have a sensor that's failed or you have a high current situation, you will receive an alarm and you can service it during down times so that your system's ready to go when you need it to perform. To accept all of these changes, you hit OK and you're back at the main screen, ready to operate. The ITLS is also suitable, like our other two products that I mentioned, our DTS and our ITC, it's suitable for both ordinary areas as well as class one division two. Even the touchscreen computer is okay for class one division two areas. And you can see on this touchscreen computer, 
Um, it's easy to access any of the windows. If you have a fault condition, you can go into the alarms. It tells you immediately what situation you have out in your environment. Uh, you can also see at a glance if uh, any of the circuits have an alarm condition by looking at any one of these icons that are on the perimeter of the screen. The ITC was built with the user in mind. It's easy to install. It's got a very small put footprint and also the uh, cost per circuit is competitive with anybody out in the industry.